everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. I'm here today for week seven of Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And it's kind of a another take on the same thing as last week, but a slightly different shape. So it's document holders again. Um, so these ones are going to be like long and sideways kind of instead of like, um, you know, like more envelope style, they're going to be this way they go this way in the journal okay so what i'm going to do um is just get started i'm using this big botanical page um for mine and i may need to probably just trim it down a little i think i'll just i'll keep a nice scrap from the side here so that i can use that for something else So then we need um, to just, maybe I'll just fold all of these first and then we'll find papers. I have a bit of an idea uh, differently of how I want to do the closure on these. This is just a digital um, from Shabby Dabby Doodah that I had printed for something that did not get used up. And I'm just rough tearing these corners or these uh, sides off. Not like too concerned. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this. Yeah, so we'll just get these all kind of folded and then decide what we want to put inside of them. This one also I will trim down. I'm going to trim from this side. Using these botanical book pages is like sort of hard to do. I get a little emotional because they're so beautiful. <laughs> but that's what I bought them for, to use them. So let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> this is just a book page that I love the color of. gluey edge off oh my goodness he's so cute okay no I have a couple of those pages this one just has a writing on the back I'm gonna use this one I don't want to lose that sweet mouse oh my god okay <laughs> much better okay one more on that side oh then I have this big, huge page, and I love it so much. I think what I want to do is just kind of tear it down the middle here a bit. This was from like a gigantic children's book. It was so cute. Okay. And I think we'll fold that fun tab kind of edge in. Get straight there. And then I have these, um, these are just paper digitals. They're on regular weight copy paper. And I'm thinking I might enjoy having some of these in a light weight so I thought I would experiment with it okay. Okay, a few of these here we're gonna have a lot of ephemera made by the time I'm done <laughs> which is good. I have been going through my bins of like, well, my basket. I have, so if you watch my Tuesday 10 series, I, I talk about this basket. I keep at the back of my desk. If I'm completely honest, that's only one of the two bins. I have another one that's like a big wire basket that hangs out in the background and has a bunch of other stuff in it that's actually considerably older. And, um, it's full of great stuff though. Like both of my Tuesday 10 kind of bins are full of great stuff. All right, so this is like an old scrapbook page. See that, isn't that cool? Now I'd like to, if I could, I don't know if I can 
get these things up and off there but if I can I'm gonna try to and just just because I don't want them like to cause an issue so the first thing I'm gonna do is just make this a little smaller this is a, like a early 1900s scrapbook so um, this paper is a little bit like weaker at the edges So then what I'm going to do is fold this piece over. Now that feels a little crinkly, but I don't think it will have a problem. Like there won't be a problem from it. Um, I mean, I could run a ruler under. I don't know what's under here. Let's take a look. Let's just um, see if we can schluff this off a bit. Okay, let's get it off. Yeah. I actually quite like the weathered look of that. And I'm, I wasn't, you know, particularly attached to that boat picture. It's kind of cool, but also not necessary. It's more about the outside for me. That is so awesome, right? Okay. Then these are large book pages. I'm not using this one for this because it would be sideways and I don't want that big woodpecker to be sideways. Um, so I could make this a document holder and do it the other way. Like, what if we do this? Okay, get rid of those. And then I could fold this like that. And I'll put the documents under there. I could put it, I would I want to do it this way and have it fold like that. No, I don't want to. I'm just going to set that paper aside. We don't need it. This is the one I wanted to use, this more backgroundy feeling paper. Okay. Just trim a little extra. So that's all the ripping that we need to do. This one I'm gonna start it this way. All right, so let's see how many of these we, we've made, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So the next thing that I need is 11 of these um, circles. I think 11 will work. Um, yeah, I think so. This is from an old photo album. So it's nice and thick. One. And this is going to be all about the closure of this. Okay, so let's make these now. Sorry for wiggling. I needed to get this thing. Should they all have a hole? Okay, let's just leave some with and without till I fully come up with what I'm doing here. Okay, so put this whole bunch away now. Let's get started here. So this is lovely. Now I need paper to go in here. I've got all sorts of stuff here. Um, I'm just going to sort of set it over here and decide what we want to do. I quite like the idea of putting a doll in there. Um, this is coffee dye paper from a doll book. I have a whole collection of doll books that I need to process through. And so I'm going to use that at minimum today as one of my 
internal pages. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to make it a little shorter. paper. Um, this is like a tea dyed scrapbook paper. I'm going to aim to just put three pieces inside here because I don't want like a ton of stuff. Maybe four pieces. I have this fun blue painted book page as well. And then maybe this little November 1978 calendar. Okay, so this will go in there. And then the way I want to do this, I think, is, where's my, oh yeah, why did I put my whole punch back? <laughs> okay, I need to get this ready. This is just a big gnarly skein of um, jute. And I'm going to cut off a nice length of it here. Then I will pop a hole through everything here. I'm going to then s sort of put a loop of this jute through it right there. Then we will kind of create like a slip knot. You see that? It's like a slip knot. Let's see if I can get this to work. I, I did not make a prototype. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. The objective is we just want to keep all the papers together. So we've done that. They're together. That's secure. <clears throat> now we're going to do one fold like so. And then this fold there. And then what I wanted to do, I think, um, On this side, I want to take one of these I'm just gonna add a little art glitter glue in the center and I want to stick this down but I don't want the whole entire thing to stick down I just want the, the middle and once it's done gluing I want to wind this around it so let's just let that dry and, and we'll work on the other the other ones and see how that concept goes now let me look at this and see what would it have been like if I'd used this here this could wrap around let's try that on the next one okay so this will be our our initial experiment one now let's make another one so let's start out this time just by getting this glued on right around the hole. And the hole is going to be our guide for where we're going to punch the hole through everything. Okay. There we go. So with this one, what colors do we have going on in here? That's nice. Let's go with some of this paper. It can be a little thicker. We'll go half, maybe. A little more than half. Okay. Oops. My alarm. <clears throat> okay, so... Now we will fold. No, we won't fold. We'll put this in. Then, oh, wrong way. This way. <laughs> I'm awake, I promise. Then, maybe some of this folder. Folder paper. And then I have, okay, this is like a really weird, ugly Yosemite Sam. But I'm going to use, I'm going to separate it so that you don't know it's you sending the same and use the paper because it's got this really cool, almost like, I don't know, ble ble bleeding like ink 
um, on it. And I like that. Then, one more thing here. I need something a little different. Let's see. <coughs> baby paper but there's like all this these stickers on it in this old baby book and I don't want the stickers <laughs> these are really well glued considering this is from the 1950s oh my goodness Um, I'm going to use this side as my guide because I love the image on this side. There we go. The things we do for old paper, right? <laughs> okay, that can be wide a little a little bit less not a lot i don't want to lose any of that nice old cello tape that's sitting on the side there okay perfect now let's get our jute twine here Cool punch. The idea is to hold it all together so that you don't lose your hole. Let's do this again. Okay. And then even out this jute. There we go. Do our slip knot. You could use something easier than this kind of material. I just like to particularly challenge myself. <laughs> but it's also really fun to use this kind of rustic fun material. Okay. Oh, I like this already. These cool papers are so lovely. Okay. Fold that like that. Um, why is that inside? Did I do this incorrectly? Yeah, because if I do... Yeah, I don't want to cover that. Um, what if I back this up a little, back it up a little, right there, so that this... Or that could go on top. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I still think I need to perfect this a bit. Um, perfect this a little bit here. There we go. Then we can go around this way. Um, okay, so the problem with this, I can't go around it because I've used it as a tie-on. So instead, um, I'm going to just tie it in a nice little bow here. And again, we'll try to figure out what I'm trying to do with this, um, with these circles. I have to work on this again. This is how we learn, right? Okay, then come back to this one. And this one's going to let me do the wind around, I think, as long as we didn't glue the side down, which we might have. Can we pull it back up a little? Right there. Okay, now, see, it'll pull it right off. Okay, bad plan, bad plan. Okay, so let's just grab... Faithful little baby wipe here. Okay. 
taking that glue right off. Then I need to dry it with my, I'll just try it with this little piece of lace. Okay. So then this folds, this folds, we come back around. Now, if I had something like beside this here, I could do that, but I don't. Okay, I have to think about that, but I need a label of some kind, I think. Um, and one of these numbers. We're gonna figure this out, don't worry. It's going to happen. There's my glue book right there. And glue stick. Okay. That will cover that little spot that we glued. And then I can use this. Like all is not lost, right? It's just not exactly what I planned for. Um, this, can I undo this still? Yes, okay, good. I'm gonna take that out and I'm gonna use a different piece of jute because that one was too short to begin with. just slipping one end through here too um, to see if that's a better tie. It is. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Exercises and frustration. It's okay. It's only paper. We're gonna figure it out. There we go. Every now and then with jute twine, which is extremely strong of a material, you can get a weak spot. It's just because it's, you know, it's a spun fiber. It's a natural fiber that's been spun and every now and then there can be a weak spot. So it's one of those things. Okay, there we go. Now I can trim that down hand that. All right, so I'm happy with that one actually. I think that's cute. One down. Now, back to this one. Um, this one's fine. I, I don't have a problem with it. Okay. <laughs> now, I was thinking of decorating these, some of these, with these little like Victorian invitation hands. Right, so we'll have that just waiting in the wings if we want to use it. Um, it might be nice on this actually. So let's just continue along. Um, I guess I should try to figure this out. Okay, let's think about this. So what if we glued one edge here, um, but not all the way. We strung through here and this got folded. Um, yeah, that could work, but like, it's not the same as like the toggle that I'm thinking about. And maybe I need to use like a brad or something for the, a toggle. Let's try with a brad instead of just a hole. Um, but I think I just need to think about like where on this piece should it go, okay? Like, because the documents are in here. So, let's figure out the paper first for this one. Let's 
take this. Maybe we'll do one more little, little bitty boo that we have over here. What is this? That's the folder. Yeah, we'll put the folder in there too. That would be fun. All right. So then um, if we're going to fold here, we're going to punch here, everything together. This would come around. Um, where would a toggle make sense? If that, okay. So let's just think before we do anything. So if I fold this in here once, okay, because we know that's that we do want that fold there, okay, and then a second time to just meet up with it but not cover it, okay, let's just do all this folding here. Maybe if I just get the final product here and then I'll know where I want everything to go. So I think that it would make sense to have a toggle here. Um, we'll put our punch through there and then we'll wrap around and toggle to here. We could also do it on the back, but I kind of want to do it on the front. So that means that on this back paper, it's behind this fold that we want to put this somewhere in the middle is fine, I think. We'll poke that through. Oops, we lost it. Of course, there we go. Then open this up. Okay, so that's where we'll have that. Okay. Now this goes back down here. We still have all our paper all trapped in there. And I need a piece of jute. Make sure it's long. Okay. Put this in here. Make sure these are even-ish. They are, okay. And we'll do our slip knot. Try to bring it as tight as we can. And then that ties. So then we have this, right? So then we can go around this way a couple of times if we want to. Um, or we could go one this way and one this way. Then we have something to wrap on. But let's keep them together. I'm just experimenting. Sorry if this is like, what is she doing? What is she doing? So you could go around it or you could just stay on one side of it like that and have just a small little piece of jute. But I think I'll wrap around the back maybe. Um, wrap around the back. Or no, wrap around the front because then you actually create more of a closure, right? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah, that's good. This makes way more sense now. All right. Now, the only thing about doing it this way is you do obviously have that brad going through the back page. So if that bothered you because you feel like it would impact your ability to write, you could glue a piece of paper over the back of these tiny brads. It, it's really not that impactful. Um, oh, and then I wanted to see if I wanted to use that little hand that I cut out right here. If I want to maybe... Um, just gonna get a little scrap of this sewing paper. Put it on top like so. 
and I want to stitch it on actually. I think that would look a lot more interesting. So first I'll ink this little hand and then we will fold this bit of pattern paper and I'm just going to go stitch. I'll be right back. Okay, so this has been stitched around and I'll just come and get rid of the um, the kind of sharper edges that we don't want. I just like kind of a bit of a jaggedy look there and because it's all been stitched you can even cut like the area that's folded. There we go. And then I will just glue that on to the front and I think that's really cute. Oops, I don't think I've unclogged my bottle yet today. There it is. <laughs> okay. All right, that's enough glue. Let's just do a a little bit of a finger smoosh here. I did not set a timer for today. I have no idea how long. I don't think I've been going too long. I think we're okay still. And hopefully I've worked at the quirk of like how to put that, those toggles on when I want to use them. Um, okay, so let's just recap the glues, get the rest of these little toggles here we go then let's go on to this one so we use this big background paper here where did my ruler go I swear I bury all of my things <laughs> constantly in other things <sighs> okay Out there, I think. Uh -huh. That like that. I'm gonna trim the end off here because I do think building the papers up a little much, like it gets a little bulky. Um, and then this one, I'm gonna use some of these dolls. How do I want to trim this? Maybe here. but I want to use this side that's kind of like less all right now I need a brad um, and I want to use a bit of a bigger one maybe because for the ones that I punch the holes in I need a larger brad and that'll work that's perfect so let's first do the hole here with the jute. Okay. Just going to line the edges up so that we have an even piece. our fold one and two okay mm -hmm. all right and then we'll put that grab through here So 
then again, you can glue a piece of paper over this if it bothers you. Um, it does not bother me. And then we'll wrap around the front once and then a second time. And we'll go around our circle here. There we go. That's done. white edges on this paper. Now we have a slate assembly line going. Okay, and then I also need to grab a brad. smaller. Um, we still have two folds. Yeah, maybe it's on there, right? Okay, good. And then I'll tie one more knot here. So I forgot to do that. That's good. Fold. Pull this back up. Okay, so we've got how many left to go here? Four, five, six. Oh my gosh, I have a ton. Okay. <laughs> I need to pick up the pace. All right, one. Um, now this. I don't want this. This part we'll get rid of. This part I think is fine. We'll do it that way. Let me use a bit of this shabby dabby doodah paper. Need a different situation. 
this because it's old paper. I'm thinking, um, where is it right here? Stapler. This one's going to have a little bit of a different concept to it. Okay. So then this could go on and behind. So then what I would do is take a little brad, poke my hole here, and then actually right where the staple is, put this in here. Open, open. These brads can be so tricky to open sometimes. There we go. Flatten that down. So then we have this on the outside. And what I will do is cut this. And then even it out here. And I'm actually going to wrap it around and tie one knot here. And then because that'll be attached, we'll go back around and then come around again. And there we go. That's fun. Such old paper. I just want to like burnish it. There we go. Now, these ones, let's see. Do I want to do these? Hmm. I might do these a different way. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass on these ones, actually. I just think that I had an idea to use them, but they don't really fit the overall concept. So let's just move along here and do what does work, which is this. I missed the, the goosey goosey paper. Whoopsies. Hold on. Let's fix that. <laughs> I thought I had it at the top. Ah. Okay, let's fix it. The other two are still in the same spot, so we'll only have one hole. There we go. That's better.
go with a little, or Big Brad, okay, Big Brad. I, I think I may have accidentally pulled that up. Hold on. Oh, yeah, we got a little tear there. Okay, let's fix it. Yep, see, we got a little tear. So, all is not lost. little thicker piece of paper here. We'll put this here. It's just going to give the brad a little more to hang on to because it is a large brad. So we'll just kind of double it up. And that can fold down as a little fun flippy bit as well. Okay, so let's put the brad back through. Another thing I can do, actually, if I stick this through here. Oh yeah, that's really strong now. <laughs> but you could also use another one of these um, holes here as like an extra bit of something to hang on to. So that works. Okay, and we'll fold this back up. There we go. Head back around the front and back around and then underneath the tab. And as these tabs like sit in a, in a used kind of way, they're going to get easier to like put the jute under. Like they're just, this is just the very first time that they've had to be lifted up. So the paper isn't trained to do what you want yet. Um, Okay, so now these ones, I think I don't necessarily want to put the, um, the brads or anything in. So what I think I'll do is instead this, let's put the papers in first. One, two. Then some of this. Three. Okay. With this one, I'm going to take the jute here and I'm going to still create a loop like so that I will actually staple down it's hard to see I'll show you what I'm doing after it's done here maybe okay so see that I've, I've stapled that on there and then I'm going to tie a knot behind it so that there's something too big to fit under the staple and then we'll fold it as normal And again, and this, I'm going to come around through the loop, both sides. There we go. Okay. 
And then on this side, we'll tie a bow. There we go. And then it has like this little, you know, this little finger loop. It's kind of cute. Okay, we'll do one more of these because um, we only have, yeah, we have one piece of paper left. This was great for using up scrappy bits. And not like super scrappy bits, but like, you know, things that have been hanging around that I don't, I didn't have a use for until I did this project. So it's good. And then I wonder if we do this and we use a staple, that might be another way to play with these. There we go. Let me just fold this one one time and have the flap go over. Does that fit under there? Is it okay? Yeah, it's great actually. So let's tie a knot. Yep. Of course, this is, has to be that piece of jute that has the, the weakness in it. <laughs> like I said, every now and then you'll run into that issue. It's not a big deal, but it's like not as bad as when you're tying in signatures and then you get like a weak piece of uh if you're using embroidery floss or something <laughs> things do get weak sometimes there we go that's good and then we can decide to just wrap it around again this way Okay, push all this out of the way. Now let's take a look here <laughs> at what we got. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, those were fun to make. I mean, that's a nice little different piece of ephemera. And um, yeah, I'm happy with those. They're pretty cute. So I hope you had fun watching me foible around with these little things. Um, I will be back again for the next uh, Roxy's Weekly Challenge, probably. I'm going to try to stick with it. Like, I know I jumped in at week six, but I, I do like it. I think it's a nice way to kind of build your ephemera up, too. Um, so, yeah, I will see you next week. Well, I'll see you before then, but for this, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye for now.